Here I'll explain the mechanical design assumptions in Helioscope. Every mechanical design in Helioscope is based on a number of assumptions around the module, its orientation, and the racking design. So here I'll start with an existing design and change each variable one by one. First, the modules are laid out based on their exact dimensions. So for example, if I toggle to a smaller module, we'll see that we can fit more in the same shape. Next, adjust the azimuth angle, which defines the direction that the modules face. 180 is due south, so as I switch that to 180, we can see that the modules are all facing due south. I'll go back now to 215, which is the azimuth angle of the building. The tilt angle is the inclination of the modules. So for example, if I increase that a lot to say 45 degrees, the modules will look a lot skinnier from our top-down perspective. For the orientation, the default for all the modules is landscape. We can switch to portrait, and we see that they all rotate 90 degrees. Finally, we look at the racking design, which is based on a bank depth as well as the spacing between the rows of modules. The spacing indicates the distance from the back of one row to the beginning of the next. So as we increase that assumption, we see that these single module rows are spaced very far apart. The bank depth defines how many modules per row. So as I change that from one to three, we can see that these single module banks become three high rows of modules. Finally, the module spacing defines the distance between modules in the same rack. This is best done by showing an example. As I increase that number, we can see that the modules are more spread out in each row of modules. And with that, we've got the full set of mechanical design assumptions in Helioscope.